Okay, um, got a public service announcement. Max Verstappen, Max Verstappen is the world champion Formula One, the current world champion Formula One, but is the world champion of one of the worst televised sports. Is the world champion of one of the worst televised sports. I went silent because I was thinking. And I gave it a long, hard think. I'm still thinking now. What sport do you see on TV that is it's it's hard to even call it a sport? Because it's so bad. It's so obvious. The same thing happens every single race, near enough. It's like the sport is so bad that when the when you see the actual sport happening, it looks unusual. Let me explain. Let me explain what I'm thinking when I say that. When you see two Ferraris racing on track, it's you you, you feel like hold on, it's, it's, that, that's not supposed to happen because you're so used to the the fake champions, Red Bull, because Red Bull are the reason why this sport is the worst. So Max Verstappen, let's 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 just. Let's just hammer that home. Max Verstappen is the world champion of one of the worst sports on TV. When Lewis Hamilton was champion, everybody could race each other. Everybody. And there was competition. Yes, there was periods where or races where somebody would dominate. Very true. But nothing, nothing like this. Nothing like just blasting everybody every single race non-stop. It's like it's ridiculous man it's ridiculous and we know it's all planned all the companies doing deals behind the scenes all these mega deals going on it's just unbelievably corrupt the rules were just like broken so blatantly and nothing was done about it it's so obvious man it's ridiculous what's going on it is absolutely it's undeniable right so Max Verstappen is the champion of a sport that's the worst sport it's the worst one man the worst but anyway back to how you know that the sport is so bad it's because when you actually see the real sport it looks strange when mercedes are not ordering their drivers to to do a certain thing let somebody pass or purposely splitting the strategy in order to split the drivers up on track not even trying to go for the one two or trying to get the maximum points for the team just just making sure that the drivers do not race. That's what Red Bull do. They don't allow them to race. So when you actually see racing, it, it looks weird. You're like expecting the teams to not do it. People are calling teams out for not making their drivers not race. That's not how it's supposed to be, man. You race, but you take extra precaution because you don't want to make any kind of contact with your teammate. Because it's embarrassing for a start for a driver and it's costly for the team. So you're allowed to race, but be extra cautious. And that's where we see the best racing. When Red Bull are out of it, Formula One's back, man. Formula One's back when Red Bull are not... That race when Red Bull were not involved. Formula One was back. Everybody was there. Everybody was battling. The teammates were battling teammates. It was the old Formula One again. <laughs> but the sport is so bad because of Red Bull and how Red Bull do business and how Liberty Media do business. Sport's dead. They have no interest in the game. They have no interest in actual product. <laughs> it's all money. No product. Look at the look at Red Bull. What's the product? They don't sell anything. And anything they do sell, they don't make anything. It's all outsourced. Even the drink is outsourced. I'm pretty sure this is true. The drink that is made in another factory with another name. Another drinks company that makes drinks, probably all other companies' drinks too. So Red Bull don't even make their own drink. The clothing's made by a different company. So they don't actually produce anything. It's marketing. It's just a, a marketing company. Liberty Media, media company. There's no sport like interest involved at all. I mean, people are oh, okay, people are definitely gonna argue that. Is going to say the owner like loved sports and yes, fine. 
might have loved sports, but it's a marketing company. I'm talking about Red Bull. Let's not put emotion in there. Let's look at the facts. The way Red Bull, the way Red Bull do what Red Bull do. There is no interest for anything other than marketing and producing awareness, man. The guy went to space, right? Human is a human like, right, we've got Red Bull, an energy drink. Now, this company put money into breaking this record, taking the guy up in this capsule to nearly out in space, wherever high it was, it was ridiculous, man. Red Bull printed all over it, breaking history, man. That's way bigger than any drink. <laughs> do you know what I mean? How over the top is that? You're going to do something that extreme just to, like, as ad, ad, for advertising. It's crazy. Do something like that. Make a man jump from nearly in space, right, to the ground. And that's that's advertising, right? It's, it's genius advertising, really, because it's made history, man. It's going in the history box. And anytime anyone looks at it, you see Red Bull. Because there's Red Bull all over the, the guy, man. They spent years putting money into doing this thing. Or is it, a, it could be a tax dodge. We spent all this money going to nearly into space. And then they ain't got to pay that money in tax because it's gone. It looks like the company hasn't made any money because they've invested it all in all these things. Could just be a tax dodge. And whilst you're doing that, you're spending so much money going to space, you're just advertising even more. So it's like free advertising, really, because that money would have gone to tax if you didn't spend it. Whatever it is, man, genius. Genius business, business-minded genius. But it has killed Formula One, which means Max Verstappen may be champion now. No, you Max Verstappen fans, man. It's a pity, isn't it? <laughs> it's a shame. It's a shame for you that you might have your world champion. Your driver might be world champion, but he's world champion in a sport that is the worst sport, man, on TV. <laughs> it's a shame. But anyway, I'm going to leave that there. I hope you're all having a great day. I'm out of here.